Hello, this is uh, Dr. Kang's scuba diving story. Today's issue is a uh, catalog, catalog, and uh, lens implant. Um, catalog. Myself and uh, my wife. We both have this problem, and we want to have it uh, done. But after the surgery, it takes too long to wait until diving. So we are looking at a chance that we can stop diving for longer than two months. But uh, it's not easy yet. Uh, lens implant. This is for cataract or sometimes it's for refractive surgery. Uh, we put some uh, flexible plastic lens and replace it with our, uh, our original uh, lens. Full recovery happens usually in two to three weeks. It's okay. But diving, we have to wait minimum of two months. And uh, I don't like it, but that's the recommendation. There's many reasons. A uh, lens implant doesn't have too many uh, complications, but can uh, involve infection, inflammation, uh, loosening of the lens, visual disturbance. For example, it's like a nighttime hollows. <laughs> this is exactly what it is. Um, let me uh, go on with uh, mask squeeze, which is subconjunctival hemorrhage. And mask squeeze look like this. Also, I'm not going to go over uh, how it comes. It's uh, when you don't equalize your mask space, uh, the hemorrhage can uh, occur in your subconjunctival level and uh, your eyes can look like this. This is a uh, this looks awful but uh, it's not really that awful but when you have mask squeeze you must go see a doctor if you have pain in your eyeball if you have double vision blind spot in visual field decrease the vision after dive and if you had a eye surgery before um, double vision blind spots uh, decrease the vision after dive all these can be a symptom of something else not just ma mask squeeze decompression sickness or sometimes even uh, arterial gas embolism so if you have these, you have to go see a doctor. It's the same like, you know, if you, after diving, if you have these symptoms, you have to go see a doctor. And here are some example of uh, mask squeeze. Uh, the eye and uh, surrounding tissue, you get like a blue and black, and they look like a panda bear in China. So it's called the panda's eye. A nickname and uh, these are all uh, people who called me and I asked them for some photos and I'm just using their eyes for their privacies so this was uh, some introduction on uh, mask squeeze and uh, thank you very much for listening and I will see you very soon again thank you